What is going on guys? DBG here. Today we're going to be talking about the new free rush cards in NBA 2K24, my team. Before we get on, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to get 25,000 as soon as possible. If we get to 24,200 by the end of the day, that would be absolutely insane. But anyway, now let's get on to it. So there are two cards we did not see yesterday. And it is uh, Lamont Murray and it is also um, Paddy is Young. So, um... Lamond Murray or Thaddy Zone right here. Uh his stats look alright, I guess. Like there no there's no flaws. Everything's 85. You're looking at an all around mid machine. Pretty good defender, actually. Steel, I would have expected a steel higher than 82, honestly. If you guys remember Thaddy is young back in the day. Again, this is when we're talking about my team being like real players. Thaddy is young steel rating used to always be super high. And it's mad that like one of the things that he was known for in real life. Is the his single is it his single lowest stat? Other than driving standing dunk, it is one of his lowest stats. 63 ball. Really? He's got 63 ball handle. Man, this is like look, I'm just putting it out there. Like, this is a pretty good card. This is not Thaddeus Young. 2K just gave this card 85 in every single stat. This is not Thaddeus Young. Post hook, post fade of 90 in the 90s. I mean, alright. I don't know who this card's meant to be, but it's not Taddy as Young. Um, basic dribble style, will not be able to cross the ball over. <laughs> release, release is fine. Release is fine. It's not brilliant. It's not bad, but it's fine. Um, Amis are made to nerf packs. Um, 2K said give them 85 everything. Yeah, like this is not... 2K, like, they've stopped actually trying to make players even remotely like they were in real life. And I kind of get, like, gassing up cards. But, like... If a, like, if a player had one or two things they were really good at, like, his dunk should be 95. If you remember what Thaddeus Young used to be able to do, his defense should be better. Honestly, this is, this is not, I don't know who this card's meant to be, but it's not Thaddeus Young. We got Lamont Murray. I'm pretty sure his daughter is involved with 2K, I'm pretty sure. Um, So, surely they made Lamont Murray a beast. Stats-wise, he's fine. Um... If you told me that these, if you showed me these stats right after showing me Taddy's Young, the only difference is they give Taddy's Young a post game. He's all, got almost every badge. 86 ball handles, pretty okay. Um, comes with 94 feet, no anchor, and he can't get anchor, no movement enforcer, no fast feet. At least he gets right stick ripper. And uh, oh, default swing, default swing. Yeah, of course, a brand new player from 2K. In the game, and they give him default default sigs. That just sums it up, isn't it? Um, but at the same time, default default is a pretty good jumper. Is there many? I don't mean. Are there many other default swing default swing players? I like the default swing upper. Default swing base isn't terrible. So Shan, it's Shannon Brown releases it. No. It's actually not a bad release at all. But it's just funny that we got a brand... The last, like, four brand new players we've gotten in my team have been default swing, default swing, or default small, default small. Or default... To be fair, I think we've had one default big, default big. But, like, for all the... For the last, like, five new players we've gotten 2K, I've just given them default six. Like, it is the single, like... Oh, I cannot, like, describe the laziness of this dev team. I cannot describe it, like... Um, oh, it's just not great. At the same time, looking at this card, base, dribble style's gone, the Zach Levine. Release isn't great. I mean, they may get a good to lock down defender. Um, like, that's it. That's it, like... That's all. I, that's all I can say. That he's he's a six foot tall point guard. They gave him elite defense stats as good as you're gonna make him. Actually, no, it's not. What am I talking about? What like any other year, this this guy would have his release on very quick. He'd have the best dribble style, and he'd actually be able to create with him. And he might be a little bit fun, but this year when they're not changing sigs and any but opals, he sucks. He absolutely sucks. And we got Danny Manning. Um. 
Like, his stats are the exact same as Thaddeus Young's. I mean, like, if they couldn't try harder to make him like Thaddeus Young's. I know, at least he's tall. At least he's taller at 6'10". Um... But yeah, that is um That's basically it. Like he's got basic dribble style. I'm trying to think of like what to say because I like the fact that these are free cards, but the cards all stink. Like this card is a basically a carbon copy of Leonard Miller. With a worse release. Like you're you're acting like these aren't the same card. Except he's got a worse release. And he's got less wingspan. So. What use are any of these cards? Lamont Murray's okay. Finally though. Finally something that's worth it. Finally something that's worth using. Like. Anchor. Box of Beast. Interceptor. Pogo Stick. Post Lockdown. Rebound Chaser. Um, Like. Lack of speed boosters. I mean. You're not a good card here. You look at like what poor man's AD. Like, if you go on to compare him to Anthony Davis, who I think is one of the best power forwards in the game, like he's actually somewhat comparable. Like AD is plus ninety eight total stats. Like a lot of them being like draw fell driving dunk and hands. But in the stats that matter, he's close. Like passing vision doesn't matter. He's a better pass accuracy. Speed is comparable, vertical is comparable, defense, Jaron's actually is better, three pointer is the same. Like, they're very, very comparable cards, these two guys. As far as badges-wise goes, I reckon they're very comparable as well. You get half range on both of them. You do get clamp breaker. You can dribble a bit more with AD. But, like, you're getting a really, really nice card here on uh, with Jaron Jackson Jr. And that is the one kind of, one almost key thing when it comes to him is that he is real good. Like, you can give him fast feet. Um, you can give him speed booster. So, you can give him the badges if you want to give him those. His ball handle is only 74, though, so I probably wouldn't even be bothered to give him a speed booster. He's a really nice power forward that can shoot the ball and is just solid. Then we got Jerry Stackhouse. Um, he's one of the harder players to get. Again, Jared Vanderbilt, Justin Holiday, normal dribble style, normal leaner. Um, bad tendencies. All around stats, mediocre. Like Agent 3, Blinders, Corner Specialist, Dead Eye, Limitless Range, Mid Range Magician. Um, and defensively, he's not great. Like, you need to add quite a few badges to him defensively. But he's fine, I guess. Like, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, wingspan. I still think Lamont Murray is probably the best card we've seen. Other than Jaron Jackson Jr. And that's really it. Like, he's, he's alright. He's not brilliant. He's not terrible. He's fine. Then we got Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves, 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 96 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 93 lateral. 88 steal, um, not a great block. He doesn't have movable enforcer, but he has all the other defensive badges. Okay. Playmaking's pretty good as well. Shooting's really good. And Austin Reeves also has got, now Austin Reeves on very quick. Kept the pro three leaner. He has the Mitchell size up right now, which isn't as good as it was last year. I just want to see what difference there are in the SIGs department. So... He has now got a better defensive stance. He's got a better size up, better escape. I don't know what the Curry combo does. Same crossover before, same behind the back. The only thing is Pro might end up being, giving him Jamal behind the back. Um, Really, really good. No, Austin Reeves is really good. Like, if you're going to go for any of these, complete it all. Because Jaron Jackson Jr. and Austin Reeves are like the only two cards that are worth it. Um, I If this grind is more than 10 hours... Ugh. I'd be iffy on it, but like, no, Austin Reeves is super. He's an absolutely super player. And if you can get Austin Reeves running the point guard for you, he's one of the top four or five point guards in this game. Like, this card is hard and level. That is how good Austin Reeves is.